Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Monday, May the 17th. And I want to talk this morning uh, quickly about the Raspberry Pi 4 and the audio output. If you look at the Raspberry Pi 4, there's the audio output jack. Now the problem with the jack is that I've got a schematic here. It's uh, a four connector jack. It's a TRRS type of jack. So on the tip there, you have the left audio, you have the right audio, then you have the ground, and you also have a video. So for instance, you take a standard like audio cable here. This is a TRS type of cable with a left, a right, and a ground. If you take that and shove it in there, uh, what you're gonna do <clears throat> is you'll probably short out the video to the ground, which is not such a good idea. So what I wanted to do was come up with sort of a an adapter that I could uh, plug into the Raspberry Pi and then use my audio cable. So what I came up with is this device here. So this is a TRS, uh, left, right, and ground jack. And this is a four conductor TRRS type of plug. Now, if you can get these, um, get the plug without the cable. What I did is I got a cable with a TRSS plug on either end. I just cut it halfway. Um, I'll talk about the wires in a minute, but if you can just get the plug, uh, get the plug, and then you can get some TRS type of jacks. I got a package of four here. I got them on eBay. They weren't expensive. I think $5 for, for four of them. And, and the cable wasn't expensive either. It was about four or five bucks as well. Um, <clears throat> now the, tr the trouble is um, when you're um, working with a cable, I used uh, wire cutters here uh, to remove the white insulation, which comes off fairly easily. You have to be careful not to score it too deeply, otherwise you'll cut the wires inside. The trouble is the wires inside, there's four wires, they're very small and they're covered with uh, sort of like a cotton or a cloth fabric. So what I did is to remove the insulation, I used, um, I used some matches and um, the same way you would take the um, insulation off magnet wire you'd hold take a wire hold it in your thumb and just light a match and just burn a little bit off and then what you can do is you can solder it uh, to the jack here so the ground goes on there the copper colored uh, connector there is for the uh, ring uh, and that's for the tip so then you can make an adapter cable like that so <clears throat> what i use it for is I'm using it on open plotter when this is uh, uh, set up uh, for uh, headless operation. I've got an RTL SDR here receiving marine weather and I want to get the audio out to listen to it. So let's plug the jack in and see what it sounds like. Okay, so right now I've got it connected up. I've got my adapter cable here and I'm running over to um, a TRS, a standard audio cable over to uh, my speakers over there so I've got um, uh, an audio loudspeaker so we're listening to Toronto marine weather right now on the audio jack output